In step one, a lacrosse ball rolls down an inclined chair. This represents Newton's first law, which states an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. An object in motion continues in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This law is often called the law of inertia. Conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but can be altered from one form to another. In this machine, the golf ball is knocked off of a movie tape and falls into a putting green hole. There is a tube under the hole, which the ball then emerges from, moving at a slower pace. As it comes out of the tube and rolls downward on an incline, it increases its speed. The small pool ball rolls down a metal pathway at an elevation created by bar stools. This act is representative of conservation of momentum, which states the momentum of a system is constant if there are no external forces acting on the system. The pool ball never slows down or is affected along the straight metal pathway. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This fact of Newton's third law of motion is demonstrated in this machine with the domino effect of movies. As one movie falls forward, it hits the movie behind it, which leads to that movie continuing this chain effect. A golf ball hangs on a string attached to the ceiling. Before the golf ball lies a series of books, which are knocked over in a domino effect. The last of these books is a heavy textbook, which falls forward and hits the golf ball on the string, which is then propelled forward by the force of the book's push. This represents Newton's second law of motion, which states that acceleration is produced when a force acts on a mass. The greater the mass of the object being accelerated, the greater the amount of force needed to accelerate the object. Now let's take a look at the machine in action. Mm -hmm.